Hello everyone. Welcome to the new course Hyperledger Fabric Performance Optimization using Caliper and the Tape. So this course is mainly focused on Hyperledger Fabric Performance Optimizations and Enhanced Transactions per Second. So let's go to the agenda. There are different kind of modules associated with this course. The first one is the introduction of the course. We'll just go through the agenda. What are the different things we are going to cover and what would be the course objective. Once we are done with that, the next module will be focused on the blockchain network. How we can create the blockchain network and do the configurations. Here, we are going to use Fabric 2.5 and we'll be creating the network from the scratch again uh, with different kind of configuration file. And it's up to us whether we wanted to use our own network or use this network. We will be covering two different kind of network topology. First one is the three organization. Second one is the two organization. I mean, I'm talking about the network, three organization network and two organization network. I will be able to create this network in the second module. In the third module, this will be the focused on caliper configuration and the integration. So caliper is one of the tool for benchmarking the blockchain network. So there are different kinds of frameworks, like it supports Hyperledger Besu, Hyperledger Fabric. One more framework is there, but will be focused on Hyperledger Fabric Performance Optimization using Caliper and the tape. And Caliper is one of them. Here, we will just go through the basic understanding of the Caliper. We'll just see the different kind of features of the Caliper, how we can do the installation. So we are going to cover both local installation and as a container installation. So once we are done with the installation, we will be able to configure this Caliper for the Hyperledger Fabric 2.5 version. So once we start this Caliper, we will be able to integrate this caliper with the existing network. In the second module, we have created the blockchain network. So we will just integrate this caliper with blockchain network. And finally, we'll just run this performance test with the caliper and identify and analyze uh, different caliper results and interpret it. Okay, so this was the third module and next module will be the focused on the tape configuration and integration. So. Tape is again one more performance optimization tool. It's lightweight traffic generated, I would say, written in the Go. Sometimes if your client is not sufficient to create the transactions from the client side itself, then will not get much transactions per second, right? So for that purpose, some community members has created this tape. And so it's written in the Go. We can define a lot of configurations there. So in the first section, we will just go through the uh, introduction of the tape. What are the different features available? How we can install and do the setup on the local machine? What are the different files associated for running this step? Once we have that, we'll just set up this configuration and run this step. And finally, we will integrate this step with the blockchain network, which we created in the second stage. After running this step benchmark, so we will be able to see the different kind of results and we'll just analyze and interpret different uh, tape results. This was all about the basic running first caliper and the tape. Now, next section, which is the most important, I would say, this section will be totally focused on performance optimizations of the hyperledger fabric. So there are different techniques we are going to use it. So we have already configured and integrated caliper and the tape modules in the previous two sections. Now, this section will be focused on optimizing the performance of the blockchain network and fine tuning it. So we'll just try to find out the bottlenecks of the blockchain network. There are a lot of parameters we have to consider. So while fine tuning our network, finding that particular sweet spot where we're getting the maximum transactions per second, we have to find out that point. We need to tweak the different kind of configuration. So in this, we, in this course, we are going to identify those different kind of bottlenecks and we'll try to apply some of the strategies so that we'll get the maximum transactions per second. We are going to deal with the three things. First one is the network level optimization, like how this organization, three organization setup, two organization setup, and we'll see how much TPS we are getting, maybe for the same configuration. The next parameter would be the block size. Block size is one of the most important parameter which is configured in the configuration block. So there are two things, batch size and batch time. So which is responsible for creation of the block. Uh, so batch size, it means after that particular number of transaction block will get created, and batch time, it means after that particular time, block will get created. And whichever, whichever comes earlier, the block will get created. We are going to see in depth, like in the dedicated section, this module fifth. 
and finally we will be tweaking the infrastructure and resource configuration so this course we are just going to cover how to do this setup on one virtual machine having two cpu and 8 gb of ram i'm going to do the same setup on my bag macbook as well where i have almost 16 gb of ram and 10 cores and finally one more we will just increase the resource configuration like 70 GB of RAM and 32 cores. So we'll use this configuration and see the transactions per second. I wanted to show you one of the performance report. Okay, here we can see in this is the caliper report, by the way. And for the tape also we have, but it's it doesn't give a lot of information, but it gives gives the transactions per seconds and all. I will show you how that gives us the report. So in the caliper report, we can see there are different kinds of rounds we can configure. Here I have configured a two, like first one is the creation of the asset, second is the query asset. I almost sent like 9,990 transactions. And for that, I am getting almost 939 transactions per second. In some cases, I managed to achieve almost 1,000 transactions per second for writing data onto the blockchain. And second one, for getting in the data from the blockchain, I managed to get almost 1400 to 1500 transactions per second. So Caliper gives a lot of metrics. We can see here transactions per second, average latency, minimum latency, maximum latency, what was the sending rate, how many transactions got failed, and the resource configuration as well. Like how many resources uh, these different containers were using, CPU utilization maximum, CPU average, memory in, maximum memory average, traffic in, traffic out, disk write operations, disk read operations. Okay, these are the different matrix we are going to get in the report. And we are just going to see, analyze these different kind of reports and identify the bottlenecks of the network. Finally, once we identify, we'll just try to improve it and get the highest TPS. So we have to tweak these different kind of parameters. I am going to uh, go through one of the research paper as well, like uh, optimizations of the hyperledger fabric which was written in uh, one of the uh, older version, like 1.1. And we'll just go through some of the par like matrix, how many endorsing pairs, how many channels, how does it affect on the uh, performance of the blockchain network. Okay, these were the main five models we are going to cover in this course. And what would be the objective of the course? By end of the course, you will learn a lot of things. First of all, you will be able to set up and configure the Hyperledger fabric network, and you will be able to optimize that for the higher transactions per second you will have very good understanding of the key factor affecting on the hyperledger fabric performance and which are the bottlenecks so next one you will be able to install configure uh, this hyperledger fabric and tape and optimize the blockchain network okay. another one thing you will be able to an analyze and interpret performance different performance matrix for the caliper and the tape this both of the two modules okay and i'm sure once you are done with this course you will be able to identify the common uh, performance bottlenecks in the hyperledger fabric and you will be able to apply different kind of strategies for optimizing the blockchain network to get the higher transactions per second so in this course i already recorded this and so i managed to get almost 1000 1, transactions per second which is good amount of transactions for writing into the blockchain and for getting a transactions i managed to get almost 1500 transactions per second and you will be able to compare these two different reports and you can analyze and see like which tool is better and uh, like which tool have advantage over the other another one thing you can you can just develop the different kind of strategies to get the highest transactions per second uh, using th these different kind of tools okay so these are the different takeaways from this course i'm sure you will be able to get it another one thing i wanted to mention some of the prerequisite so i am assuming here you have a basic understanding of the hyperledger fabric at least just the basic you should be able to create the blockchain network you don't need to worry i i'm going to create that blockchain network at the initial first stage itself but you need to understand like what is the peer what is the orderer what is the cows database how certificate authority works i mean not in depth but very basic thing like using these different components how to create the network okay so that's in that is the only mandatory things and i'm sure you are already aware of the javascript or any node and any basic language is more than sufficient uh cell script docker containerization and command line interface this would be sufficient to start with this course thank you so much for joining this journey to optimize the hyperledger fabric network to get the highest transactions per second and find the bottlenecks let's get started